What is up guys, your favorite type of currency here, the one, the only, the Flabby Coin. And today I'm coming at you with a time lapse video of one of my watercolor paintings. Uh, I painted the icon of Argus. And um, instead of just you guys watching me paint really quickly and um, listen to some cool music, we'll have cool music and me talking about a little bit of the lore of the icon of Argus. So, the Icon of Argus is the racial crest for the Draenei race. Um, it symbolizes their flight from Argus. Argus was the Eridar homeworld, and Draenei are one of the two factions in the Eridar race, the other of which was corrupted by the Burning Legion. This is why they had to leave their homeworld in the first place. The Golden Sigil on the Icon represents the aid of the Naru when fleeing from Argus. The Naru are a dimension-traveling race of sentient energy beings. They blessed the Draenei to help them with their struggle, they also provided them with a dimensional ship used to escape Argus. The purple gems you see on the icon, um, they represent the Draenei's use of Naru technology. They are also very evident in the World of Warcraft starting area for the Draenei, and they represent the Draenei's natural talent with gem crafting. All of these elements rest atop a shattered shield, this likely representing the shattering of Draenor, the homeland of the orcs, which was for a short time the refuge of the died, before it was shattered into pieces by the Burning Legion, leaving behind what we now reference as the Outland. After that horrible incident happened, the Draenei fled to Azeroth, where in the present they now lie. So yeah guys, that is basically a little bit of lore for you, if you want to know more you can always google it, it's quite interesting, World of Warcraft is full of lore, that is why I love the game, so I don't really play it much anymore, but I have a lot of the books, it's some really good stuff, it's really deep, everything's got a way of connecting, everything's got a history, um, the drawing, sorry painting, took me about 3 hours off and on as I was eating and other stuff. Uh, it's it's not my best, but it's pretty good I think for three hours. It's obviously watercolor, so it's not gonna be the most detailed because watercolor is very hard to detail things in. I tried my best, but usually on a big canvas it's quite nice. But I was using very small, so yeah, I went for a more cartoonish look by outlining a lot of the things in black that weren't outlined in black just to give it more of a, uh, I don't know, more of a, th not really 3D, I don't know. I liked how it looked, so, um, if you guys are interested in having me paint anything for you, post it in the comments, actually, sorry, just PM me, PM me on YouTube, and uh, you can buy it, or if you're interested in me just doing something, you don't have to buy it, but you just want to see me paint something, Post in the comments. I will read all the comments. I will read all the PMs. I will answer all the comments and PMs. If you like this video, give that thing a fucking like. If you disliked it, just be honest. If you disliked it, dislike it. I don't mind. It helps me surface out all the content I want to give you guys. And um, so I've been flabby. And if the audio is not long enough for the video, we'll have a little bit of music at the end here. But. As always, a sub a day keeps Mistrilia in play.